everyone today we will be talking about the law of signs or the sign law so this law of sign um, can only be used for any triangle that are classified as oblique triangle so what is an oblique triangle an oblique triangle is a triangle that has no right angle so it is not a right angle so an example for this in this picture so there's no small square in one of the corners that means this is not a right triangle this is not a right triangle so if it's not a right triangle we use the law of sines or the sine law so this is the equation that we have over here so um sine of angle a over sine of angle b over B equals sine of angle C over C. Now, uh, others are gonna get confused, like what are these A, B, and C over here? Okay, so this big letter that we have is the angle. So this is sine of angle A, so the big letters are angles. And then the small letters are the sides across from that angle. So for example, if we have angle A, the side across from that is the small letter A. Angle C, the side across from that is a small letter C. Angle B, the side across from it is a small letter B. Now, um, others are gonna say like, well, how do we use this equation since there are three parts of the equation? So we can actually pair them up. It's either you pair up A and B, or B and C, or A and C. So it, uh, now others are gonna say, like, how do we know wh which one to pair up? So it depends on what the problem is. So let's have this uh, problem right here. So let's uh, look, looking at the problem over here, we can see that if this is our angle B, we can label this as our small letter B. Uh, by the way, in, um, in some of the problems, it doesn't have to be labeled with A, B, and C. The only thing that we remember is if whatever the angle is, that's the side across from it. Whatever the angle is, that's the side across from it. Whatever the angle is, that's the side across from it. So in this case right here, this is our small letter B. And then this is our small letter C, the 18. And our small letter A should be up here, which is missing. Okay, so we labeled it already. Our first task is to solve for angle B. So angle B is right here. So what is this measure right here? So as you can see, if we look at the problem here, we have angle C and C. So this part of the equation is complete. Now, I cannot use A and A because if I pair these two up, sine a over a and sine c over c it's not gonna work because sine a this big a is missing and this small a is missing so then if only two are given and these two are missing it's not gonna work so then i will try to solve i will try to use for these two so sine of b so let's see all again uh, angle c that is 98 and this is 18 so we're good with that Angle B is missing, but we have a side B, which is 15. So then we are supposed to use this combination right here. So we're going to use this combination. So to set up our equation, that would be sine of B. So I'm going to write it up here. Sine of angle B over B is equal to sine of angle C over the side C. So let's put in the value. So angle B is missing. So I'll just keep that. So sine of angle B over side B is 15. And that is equals to sine of angle C is 98. And that is over side C, which is 18. So from here, we are supposed to cross multiply these two. So I'm gonna cross multiply these two right here. So then our equation would come out to be 15. Um, that is, we do this one first. So that's 18 times sine of angle B is equal to 15 times sine of 98. So then from here, we can divide both sides by 18. So we're going to divide this by 18. We're gonna divide this by 18. And so we can cross the 18 out. <clears throat> We're left with sine B. So I'm just gonna write that over here. So our sine B, 
um, is, so we have to um, uh, do the math for this. So here's the thing that we need to do. First stop, <clears throat> when we solve for the law of sines or the sine law or the cosine law, be sure that the calculator is set to degree. So if you're using the blue calculator, just press this button right here and be sure that it's in degree. You can actually change that around. <clears throat> so be sure that's in degree. Or if you're using the TI-84, when, uh, when you change that to uh, degree, you hit the mode and then be sure that it is not in radian, it should be in degree. So you can move this around. So if you hit enter, so that's a radian right there, be sure that it is in degree, you hit enter. Okay, so if we, um, if we multiply this 15 sine 98, so let's see what that is. So 15 times sine 98, close parentheses, divided by 18 is that value. So I'm gonna write it up here. So zero point, so that's 0 0.825222, and then that's um, 3, 3, nine one so i wrote it up now but we want the b by itself we don't want the sine b but we want the angle b so to do that we're going we're going to get the arc sine so that would be b is equal to sine negative one of this value right here so that's 0 0.825522323 uh, so let's put that in so that would be so you can just go ahead and say second sine second answer we put these values in and that should give us 55.6 so let's just round it off to uh, one decimal place so 55.6 is our angle b so we are done with angle b this is 55.6 i'm going to write that over here 55.6 so let's move on to the other two parts here. So again, we have um, we have to label this. This is our A, this is our B, and this is our little A here. This is the angle, which was 55.6. We solved it already. Now our, so this is 55.6 right here. Now our task is to find for angle A. So to find for angle A, so that's the missing right here. So angle A is um, missing, but um, we have we have already solved for 55.6 over here. Now we remember that if we add all the three angles here, so this is angle A, if we add the three angles, it should equal to 180. So that should be angle A plus angle B plus angle C equals 180. So then we plug it in, angle A is missing, so we keep that as angle A, plus angle B is 55.6, plus angle C is 98, so that's 98 is equal to 180. So we add these two together, 55.6 plus 98, so again, that's 98 right there. Um, that would equal to angle A plus 153.6 is equal to 180. So then from here, we subtract 153.6 minus 153.6. So then we are left with angle A is equal to 26.4 degrees. So this one right here is 26.4 degrees. So this is 26.4 degrees. Now we want to solve for CB. So CB actually is the A. So CB, line segment CB is actually the A. So we can use again the um, we can use again the sine law for this. So we can have sine of sine of 98 over 18 is equal to, we're gonna pair this up because we wanted the A. So that would be sine of um, 
6.4 over A, which is the missing part. So then we go ahead and cross multiply these two together. Cross multiply that. So we're going to cross multiply these two. So this would come out A times sine 98. So that's A times sine 98 equals 18 times sine 26.4. So then from here, we divide both sides by sine 98. Divide this by sine 98. We can cross these two out. So we are left, if you use calculator, again, if you set up the calculator, be sure that it is in degrees and this is giving us a uh, value of 8.1 so that this is the length of a right here 8.1 now others are going to ask uh, what about if we don't want to use the sine 98 what about if i use the sine 55.6 will it give the same answer so let's set it up so that would be um so in this problem again we're not using sine 98 and 18 but we're using sine of 55.6 over 15 and that is equal to we use this one so we can solve for a that would be sine 26.4 over a so let's see if they're gonna come out the same answer so we're gonna cross multiply these two again cross multiply these two so we are left out with a times um, sine 55.6 equals 15 times sine 26.4. And so we are going to divide both sides by sine 55.6 divided by sine 55.6. And so we can cross this two out. And so our A is still gonna be the same. So if you use calculator, again, be sure that it's in degree, it should be 8.1. And this two should be a match. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.